Good day! In today's lesson, you will learn how to acknowledge sources that will help you avoid plagiarism. So what is plagiarism? So when we say plagiarism, it is the practice of taking the work, language, thoughts, ideas, opinions, and arguments of another and passing them off as your own without properly acknowledging your sources. So to avoid this, we have here ways. So to cite your references and acknowledge sources, there are two ways that you can do. So first is the in-text citations. So this is commonly used when you are using the quotations of other person or when you want to paraphrase others' original statement. So next is through bibliography. So here, you can make uh, a list of words which is placed at the end of your research paper or line ups. So this can be also seen at the end part of uh, your textbooks. Uh, so usually in bibliography, they are arranged in alphabetical order. So let's have examples for in-text citations. So uh, we have here, according to ACOBA 2001, page 18, many textbooks and grammar books primarily consist of list of vocabulary and grammar rules. So another example, Manrique 2014 points out that little oral proficiency would result from the grammar translation method. So this is how you cite sources when you are using in-text citation. So you have to indicate who's the original source of that uh, statement by using according, points out, and etc. You also have to indicate uh, the year that a person stated uh, a particular statement. And also, if you use an author statement from his or her book, you have to indicate as well the exact page where you get his or her statement. So we also have another example of in-text citation. So example, we have David 2008, page 22, presents evidence which shows that grammar translation method is not that effective. After using grammar as a tool for language learning, the oral proficiency of students has increased in 2006. Um, if you don't want to use words such as according to, points out, or based on, presents evidence, you can have it like um, the second example I have mentioned right here. And the source of it uh, should be enclosed with the parentheses and the date when we said that particular statement. Now let's move on to the example of bibliography. So there are different citation styles for bibliography, but we will focus on the APA style or the so-called American Psychological Association. So in citing bibliography, you have to indicate first the surname of the author, followed by a comma, then the first letter of his or her name, and then followed by a, and then after that, enclose the date when it was published with a parenthesis and put a period. Next part is the title of the source, and then puts a period. The location of the publisher, then after that, you have to put a period. A retrieve from URL is used if the source is an online source. So we have here another example of a bibliography. So as you can see, it is arranged alphabetically. Again, another example. So see, we have Cottrell J and then followed by Albo P, something like that. Now how about if there are multiple authors? So we can follow this row. So the first one is multiple authors are separated by commas and an ampersand. Example, Mitchell, comma, and then followed by the initials of the authors, Dania, and then a comma, Thompson, comma, and then the initial, P, 
period and then comma, and then ampersand, and then uh, the name of the author or the surname, coin, and then comma, and then the initial. How about if uh, multiple authors have the same surname and initial? So all you have to do is to add their name in square brackets. So as you can see in our example, Mendeley, comma, and then the initial name. And then we have uh, James. How about if the date when it was published is unknown? So if the date is unknown, ND is used in its place. So for example, Mendeley, comma, JA, and then enclose the ND, which uh, indicates that the date that it was published was unknown. And then we also have publisher rules. So if the sources is published in the US, the city and the two letter code must be stated. Example, San Francisco CA. And then if not in the US, the city and the country must be stated. Example, Sydney, Australia. So that's how to use the in-text citations and bibliography. So I hope you've learned something from me.